Hello and hey to mess around with golf with your friends this time the 2022 Space Station Classic Guide updated for this year because this is number two in the poll and I finally get around to it. It's a very, very tedious course. So I want to just put the expectation out there that this is a hard course. These shots are going to be difficult. And even though I'm going to try to include some easier ones, it's still going to be very, very hard. Hole number one, I will relent easy. We go three power directly at the flag, making sure the ramp is completely out of the way. A lot of people suggested this from my 2020 video because they didn't like my full power shot, but this one, very good as long as the ramp is out of the way. Hole two, this shot is actually incredibly specific for this particular angle. There's a couple angles that do still go in. I like to get the edge of my cursor on this particular tile, and I can take off this very specific amount of power. I don't know what to call this, but I left it on screen for an extra bit longer, so you could pause if you needed to. It is exactly that power, kind of required. Apologies for that. Hole number three, there's actually a pretty simple way to see this. Uh, let's actually zoom it up before I get too crazy here. Full power, anywhere from like that line to almost all the way over here. It's, there's so much space that you can actually fire up into this tube, and that's our main goal, getting into the left tube. There is a small percent chance that you will end up on the rim of the bowl, and that's just, you ended up on a bad pixel. I'm sorry, that never used to be, like, the case, but is now a thing. Hole number four, this shot is going to look really scary, so I'm going to leave it for a long time. Uh, there's going to be that far background, there's, like, white strips on the wall. They're like, they have silver sides and stuff. Uh, we're going to go exactly three power, getting up the tip of our cursor to the very left edge of it. Okay, so we want to get exactly three power, so I'm going to touch over. Let's back that on down. Very important to be exactly three for the hole in one. And if you go too far to the right, you will bounce out of the course. So if you're going to miss, or if it looks kind of scary, go a bit to the left. Hole number five this is a bit of a timing hole as well as a aim hole. We got two tiles to the left and a six forward. We want to aim just a touch right of that intersection. Going three and a half power, and we want to go when the, the crusher is up. The first crusher is up. So yeah, I waited there. It's still a tight timing situation, and I almost didn't make it into the side of that cup. That was because I actually went a little bit too hard, so maybe just a touch, touch under three and a half is better. Hole number six. This can be a bit tricky. There's also a bunch of hole in ones that will go in, but because of the way that the ground on the bottom now works, of being super bouncy, it's super inconsistent, but this is the shot that it works for me. It's actually a little bit more power than this, and so we'll cut to it right before we get to it. It's about three and like five, six sort of power. You're not seeing it on your screen right now, but right before we shoot, it will jump up. And we want to hold the jump button before we even let go. We want to jump a single time and then release the jump button. So it's a super quick jump and you're done holding any more jumps. You'll bounce off the back wall and come in. You do have to have a, that much power to kind of come back into the bowl or you can go more directly if you go to the right. It's You'll play with it a little bit. It's a pretty safe two regardless if you miss the hole in one. Hole seven's cool because you can go to the left or the right. It's a very symmetrical shot. I'm going to go to the right because it's just my favorite way to go. And we're going to light, line up the right side of our cursor to the circular piece that is sitting both above the wall and triangular piece there. So just the right side of our cursor on the left edge of that piece. And we go full power. It's not a very specific angle because the bowl here is so big. And it goes right on in for the easy hole in one. Unfortunately, that's kind of where the fun holes end for this course. A uh, hole eight is going to be very straightforward. I do think it's probably possible to get a two with a very, very specific first shot, but not going to go for it here. We're going to go straight forward, full power. I'm going for a three, and even this has a very timing-based one at the end. Because we'll, if we were going for the two, we would shoot over there, but we're, we're too far away. We, we won't make it. That's why I said a very specific shot one. But for our shot, I like to go right of this line because I want to make it as slow as possible coming around the bend. So you can go anytime, obviously, when the the path is clear. And then for shot number three, and don't, don't be don't feel bad if you get a par here, or because that's a really good result. Even a bogey's fine. We're gonna go just about two and a quarter power at like the most. If you feel less confident about your timing, you can actually go like up to like two and three quarters just, just to get it through. But if you want to go for the hole and have a really good chance at it, you have to time it extremely well, just as that first piston is pulling back 
Uh, we want to already be shot. So see, I almost got punched off there. Even th then, I was going at the hole very strong. So that one has a lot of skill at the end of it. But again, if you can get over there and it's not getting a simple par, that's a great result for that hole. And then hole nine is easily one of the top five worst holes for me in this video game. So I like to go full power at this wheel. A hole in one could be possible. A hole in two is very likely and theoretical. I'm going to show you a three because it's kind of specific, sure, but I just hate this hole. This hole is one of the worst because the ceiling's too short, the, the gusts are weird, it's it's a whole thing, but I don't want to ramble too much. We're aiming at the radiator that's just beyond the course on that wall, taking a little bit off full because we need to stay in the course. If anything, you want to go a little bit to the left of it, that's even safer because then you, you'll clearly get in the tube. And even then, we still have to shoot up here, which is one of the reasons I don't like the hole. It's a minor one, but like, even after all that, you still have to just knock it a little bit forward. So, not my favorite, but it's a fairly straightforward three if you follow those full power shots. Hole 10, very specific first shot. Uh, just, if you get, if you bogey this hole, you're doing great. Just get that out of the way. I like to go just under three power. Just under three power. It's going to take me like seven and a half years to line up a shot I like. The spinny piece has two holes in it, and they are not equidistant apart. So there's a shorter section and a longer section. I like to go when the first hole of the shorter section is disappearing in like the three o'clock position, like it's a clock, so you're seeing now, so that I bounce down there at a very specific power so that I come back through for this. You don't have to do that as long as you get down here. Just, just live with that result if you did not get through a bunch of times. And even still, You'll end up in different, different places for this shot. So this is, again, probably among my least five favorite holes in the entire game because you just can't skip anything. And this is kind of a guess at what we're going to be for this particular shot. So this is only applicable if you end up in the same exact spot from the same exact first shot. So don't take anything from that. So we, we can get a two, but if you get a five or a six, like you're doing fine. Trust me. Hole 11, one tile to the right, and nine tiles forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I wanted to check myself real quick. We go full power. Obviously, don't have to worry about timing. I like to aim at the sort of the left edge of the little inlet here. I almost said a weird word, so I, I stopped myself. That's why it was a little bit of a more of a pause than I usually throw in. I already have Shatner's pauses, so that's great. This can leave you short of the bull if you just get unlucky. Again, that's just kind of random pixels. It's not really anything you did. It's just don't shoot the same exact shot the next time if that happens. But even in that case, that's a three, and that's perfectly fine. Hole 12, I goofed up by just forcing the shot. We go full power directly straight ahead right before the bottom comes up. I like to go when there's about, a, in my head, about a quarter of that coming back up. This is an uncommon result. We usually end up back there, so we're going to take a little bit more power off than normal. We usually want to go about three and a quarter, but because I am closer to the hole, I'm going to go about three and an eighth or maybe even less than that because it, it does make that big of a difference. We just want to clear the gap and then bounce off that back wall safely. And if you go faster, you will bounce out of the course. So that is the reasoning for that. It's a pretty straightforward two. I just got really impatient on my first shot. Hole 13, there's a couple different ways that I'm recommending here. You can go... Get our camera all the way down to the ground. It's the best course of action. Take a little bit of power off full. It's not specific. And if we want to go right before the center of the black hole comes up, or as soon as we see it, sorry, I showed these in reverse order, my bad. Right as you see the center of the black hole come up, you end up on the bottom part here. And if you go full power, there's a chance that you can go into that black hole and then get thrown up for a hole in one. And that's fun. But this is what you do in any case. You go full power from that particular shot. And we're going to show that off in just a second because I did this again from the other way. And this is right before the center of the black hole comes up. You let go and you go up to the top side. There isn't a real difference other than the angle is slightly, is slightly different. And you'll, you're more likely to stop short of the ball here. Sorry, of the black hole. And we go full power, just kind of angling between where you are and where the flag stick is. And again, that's probably going to be a simple three for you. And a two is a possible. And a one is theoretical. It's like a less than 1% chance, so don't go for it. Hole 14, even if you know exactly what you're doing, it's uh, very, very hard to get a consistent shot anywhere on this particular course because all the leaves are angled strangely and there's just no platforms for you to get on. So I'm going to show you a slightly too hard uh, hole in one attempt that is it's slightly too hard and it you'll see you'll see why I'm showing it this is me 
kind of knowing what I'm doing and being like, this is going to be close, but it barely stays on the course, so it's very, very difficult to get the hole in one. I will show that, obviously, in a second, but like just for comparison's sake, we'll try to get you down there somewhat safely. I like to go three power, sort of straight down this, this ramp road thing. We get lucky in this positioning. You'll probably be behind one of the curves. It'll be unlucky. I like to go about, about two power from there. And then you just very softly want to hit stuff because otherwise you might go flying off and you got to reset and it's just a, it's a whole hassle. I get a bit unlucky with th this particular attempt of shots. And this is actually going to be too soft, which just looks weird. Like they had nothing on that. Kind of bit strange, especially because I go not that much more and we go flying off the off the leaf. But basically what I'm trying to say is don't feel bad about this one. If you get a five, six, seven, don't worry about it. The hole in one itself, though, is exactly this. You can pause it if you need. It's slightly less power than the original shot was, and it goes directly into the hole. Hard hole. Don't like it. Hole 15. I kind of was working through this. This is a uh, kind of hastily thrown together. Three tiles forward, two to the right. Get our right edge of the cursor on the sort of intersection. So we bounce off this, we're in the clear. I'm just trying to avoid the black holes with this. I have a very specific setup for a two or a three coming up. Just want to show a, an even safer version because I found out it's so it's so in, uh, imprecise is what I meant to say. So I end up here. This is just in case you're following along. And then I just shoot kind of randomly. This is kind of just putting along as a, at a normal stroke. I didn't really get a strategy to go for this like any particular way until this one, because I thought I had found the solution to the hole, but this is actually pixel perfect if you want to go for the two, but I'm showing it right here. It's three tiles to the left and four forward. Slide between those boxes, bounce off this box hard. If you bounce off the corner, you can't go for the second shot, so don't. Just That'll just save you strokes, I'm just telling you ahead of time. We will go full power uh, at this particular tile. It's kind of hard. I don't want to mislead people with numbers of tiles, so... We will go at this corner of this tile. It's very, very safe. And the more right you go, the better chance you do have of getting a two. I like to get the tip of my cursor on the very, very dark green. So we'll go for that now because we're doing a video. But if you miss the hole, you'll you'll come off the, f the entire upper platform and still probably end up with a four, even though you hit a pixel perfect shot on your first hole, first shot. So don't just that's com complicated. Just play for the four. And hopefully a lot of your other holes have carried you to get to that par. Hole 16. Very easy to get under par, or exactly par. I'm going to show you a an attempt at showing you a consistent two. It's not super consistent, and the hole-in-ones have gotten substantially harder because of the end uh, jet kicking you too hard. But this is just over three straight ahead. And we do that power because we want to end up about six tiles away from the edge of the sort of platform here. And then you go three and a half power and we're going to hold jump twice. And then on the second jump, we let go and we'll go in. I keep holding it so that I don't accidentally go in because I want to show off a hole in one. And I was really afraid it was going to zoom right on in there. But you just hold twice and it goes. A hole in one, you can either go to the right and that is like five specific jumps. Or we go to the left and it's like four specific jumps. So we'll go to the left here at four and like just a ton of power, like nine tenths power. We just want to get in here safely. And I'll turn my camera to the side because I like to see that particular angle. Uh, this one's not worth going for, for this exact jump right here. It's just super, super hard, so don't go for that. And then even here, we have to get more of a very delicate touch, bounce, bounce, jump. And then I want to jump one more time. That way I don't get shot too hard and go through the bowl and come back out the front. So again, I have to talk all these words just to say, don't try these shots. They're just so specific, and they used to not be. So it's very frustrating, but if you want to go for it, they still technically exist. Hole 17 has some craziness. Uh, we, we will go anytime we want to go. This is a safe shot. This is for the, the potential five. We'll play the course as it wants to be played. I recommend going between platforms for this particular shot. In hole three, if we go towards the middle, it's the safe way, and it's where you should go. If we go for left, we can actually cut off an additional stroke, which I don't think you should go for, but I will show just because it's a guide that shows off crazy shots sometimes. So we go over to this far so that we can kind of aim at this tile, taking a little bit off, and we're trying to bounce on top of another moving platform at a very specific timing. And I actually get one more bounce than I was supposed to there, and I would have got it. It just... 
unlucky it didn't have uh, quite enough power taken off, so that was unfortunate. But the recommended shot, which if you'll be in the middle, is a better angle for the bull down there. But we go just over three power, just over three power. So we bounce off there, off the back wall, and then it would be into the bull. If you were straighter on, it would go straight on down. But if you miss, it's totally fine as you're seeing. It's, you'd be probably fine for a six or a seven here. And from here, you end up in a bunch of different spots, so it's hard to tell you a specific point of aim, but we want to be definitively left of that pipe piece on the upper platform, going two and like an eighth power, and you see me knocking it in here. And one of the best feats of programming for Team 17 is that this particular pipe has never goofed me up ever. So if you make it there, you're going in the hole, and that's great. This particular shot is, we're going for the two, that's very specific, it is timing specific, so I don't recommend going for it, but again, I like to show possibilities, that's why we're showing this off. And then we shoot a very similar shot to what you saw me do on stroke number four of the earlier attempt. We're gonna, I like to bounce through the ramped one because it tends to bounce you less, so you're gonna see that here. Again, it's timing based, it's aim based, and it's power based, so it's just like, it's a lot of things coming together for a two that you shouldn't go for. I say just go for the six, go for the seven, and, and we're really going to crush hole 18. Speaking of hole 18, we go three and a quarter power aiming at the left side of this tube on that lower platform all the way down there. It's, it's great if you bounce off the tube because it will angle you even nicer. We usually like to go when this ramp is going up just in case we hit a little bit too hard, but this is perfect. And then I will go when the ramp covers up that foremost bottom slanted piece so you'll go right there you don't want to go if it's any lower than that even if it's coming down or going up you can go basically at the same time but just you don't want to be able to see that slanted piece because then you'll bounce way too high and stop short of the hole but that hole is good because you can cut so much of it off so i actually enjoy it so that is a lot of words and I actually feel a little bit out of breath and I'm a little bit sweaty that's probably too much information but just there's so much to say in so little time that I don't want to take any longer than I have to obviously this is one of my longer guide videos ever and I cut like a lot of stuff down as much as I could hopefully you got enough detail out of it still this course is difficult it's not very fun to play unless you know exactly what you're doing and even if you know that it's still tedious so it's it's Definitely not in my top 10 courses, and considering there's only 14, not a great sign. But you already knew that. We got the pull down, and this is updated now, so these are just hard shots. Please leave them for what they are. If you have better, if I miss something obvious, please leave that in, in the comments. Otherwise, if you have a slightly easier version of a shot that's still hard, it's fine. You can you can post that too. I just, I probably won't be like, oh yeah, that's awesome. Because this course is just so, ooh, it's a hurt. It's a hurt locker. Anyway, we cut to black, so thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Be safe, guys.